America, the birthplace of suburban sprawl. In my new city, the entire network will not be based around the car, but instead based around people. If we're going to see improvements for future cities, suburbia cannot exist. One way to make my city less car-centric is to make my city a smaller size, so it is easier to walk around. While searching for inspiration, I came across a video that talked about the five reasons why cars are bad for the planet. So I think really the answer is to figure out ways to build cities that are dense enough to live in without automobiles, but that can, can accommodate the billions of automobiles that are already on this planet. Uh, hopefully they'll be switching to an, another form of uh, fuel at some point. But to somehow make those cities adaptable and malleable, malleable enough that as our society hopefully changes and doesn't focus on the automobile as much, that they're usable for those kinds of uh, activities, right? So they're walkable and transit oriented and all of these things. And we provide that choice. And then if you want to drive a car and you want to pay what it's going to cost to park it in a parking garage or whatever, then you do it. But we've made it so easy here in the U.S. to have a car because parking is free and roads are free. And only after World War II. Right. Only, only recently. I like to say that for thousands of years we built cities around feet and the horse and the streetcar and these kind of things and then for 75 years we've been building them around the car and now we're realizing what a mistake that was but in the United States for instance an enormous percentage of our built environment is has been built since 1945 and now we have to figure out ways to call it urban acupuncture people call it urban first aid um, Ellen Dunham Jones calls it retrofitting suburbia but we have to figure out how to remake the landscapes we have to be less automobile centric. The road layout will be practical so it is easier to get around. I will have a bike system that is separate from the road so it is easier and safer to get around. The whole riverfront will act as a park to protect some view sheds of the houses and also make sure that everyone has better access to a park. There will be small parks scattered around the town as well. For the main street, I used a mod to get rid of the trees and also put some trees that I thought would work best with the main street. I wanted to make it feel breathable when walking down this street that is, you know, everyone is going to walk down because it's like the commercial center. Um, so I made sure that the ratio of the building height to the ground length was not too narrow or too wide. I decided on this nice brick decal from the Park Life DLC to use for the sidewalks. The parking came separately from the roads, and I highly recommend it for the main streets. They just look so good. I try to make all the buildings match as well, so I pick similar assets as far as how they look and how tall they are. The assets I use for downtown are going to be found in the list in the description of this video. It's a link. And I also wanted to say big shout out to Smiley's because his Main Street assets are just incredible. I just couldn't. I couldn't possibly. For the downtown, I wanted to create a traditional small town American feel. What you see me doing here is adding a lot of details that include parking in the back of some of the Main Street buildings, uh, some decals, and even some bike racks. I, I'm, I'm part of it. I, I'm, can't you see it? I'm trying.
if if you weren't here and if if if, if nobody else yes everything is one you have nothing to do with it I am one with what I am Everything in color. Everything. You have to see the air. You can't believe it. I decided to create a Starbucks right across from the school. I know they're going to get a lot of business. The school was a traditional American school, as to not change too much of this new American town I guess you could say I'm creating. What makes it different is the proximity to bike lanes and also the downtown. I know I would love to go downtown just to hang with friends after school. park in the middle of downtown. I wanted to have a place where you could eat and also watch your kids play in the playscape. It creates a nice destination for young families nearby. Right across from the park, I have some detached row houses. I thought these would be nice because they are higher density than regular suburban homes, but also right next to the downtown where people who want proximity to commercial centers could live. Mm -hmm. 